Republicans were jockeying today for the leadership position in the race for the presidential nomination. Chip Reed is with the candidates in New Hampshire. Chip. Well, Scott, Texas Governor Rick Perry made his second trip here to New Hampshire today as a presidential candidate. And while his tone was a bit less strident than it's been recently on the issues, he stuck to his guns. At a breakfast in Bedford, New Hampshire today, Rick Perry acknowledged the firestorm he created this week when he said Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke's reliance on printing money is almost treasonous. I got in trouble not talking about the Federal Reserve yesterday. So. I got, I, got, I got lectured about that yesterday. President Obama said Perry needs to be more careful about what he says, but that didn't stop Perry from taking another shot at the Fed today, demanding that they open their books. I think it would go a long way towards either finding out uh, whether or not there is some um, activities that are improper. But since taking office, Mr. Bernanke has already opened the Fed's books, posting thousands of pages of its internal actions online. He is the first Fed chairman to hold press conferences. During a roundtable with small business owners, Perry also had harsh words for the president's economic plan. It's a grand experiment with the American economy, and it's been a terrible, terrible disaster. But Perry held his fire when it came to Republican frontrunner Mitt Romney. Romney, who was also in New Hampshire today, returned the favor. He's a fine guy, fine governor. We'll get a chance to debate. As former governor of neighboring Massachusetts, Romney is considered the favorite in New Hampshire, where he's made a point of appealing to independent voters who can vote in the Republican primary. Some political analysts say that to win over those independent voters, Perry needs to tone down his Texas conservatism. But today, Perry held fast to positions with Tea Party appeal. He said he doesn't believe human activity contributes to global warming and that the congressional deal President Obama signed to avoid default was a mistake. No, I would not have signed it. So for now, Scott, both Perry and Romney are keeping their focus, their criticism focused on the president, not on each other. But that ex that's expected to change soon. Next month, there are three Republican debates. Thanks, Chip.